Um, we, it is a filamentous fungus. It has a name, Trichoderma virens. Uh, Trichoderma is a very large group, a uh, number of species within the group. You can find these fungi, they're ubiquitous in every soil type across the world. We started working with this organism because it has what we would consider biological control activity. They are incorporated either as, say, a seed treatment, um, they are incorporated in um, a foliar spray. Um, they're incorporated, say, in the nursery industry when the soil or the, the metro mix or whatever is incorporated there. And so it seems to have um, some very interesting properties. They are mycoparasites. That is, they attack other fungi, particularly plant pathogenic fungi that attack roots or, or foliar parts of other plants. They will colonize the plant roots if they're in the soil they will induce the plant to activate its defense mechanisms against plant pathogenic fungi. They seem to have the ability in the absence of a pathogen to um, promote plant growth. Trichoderma virens will colonize maize, cotton, sorghum, alfalfa, you know, numerous, numerous plants, woody plants as well. It also produces um, antibiotics. This recent work has to do with another group of secondary metabolites that this, um, not only trichoderma virens, but trichodermas in general, they're called peptiballs. We have looked at them from the plant side. Other people have looked at them or are beginning to look at them. Um, could they be involved through uh, the pharmaceutical industry? Could they be used for treating tumors? They certainly have activity against other organisms. Um, bacteria, other fungi, um, viruses as well. But you can see that there would be a market for these if you can demonstrate that indeed they have uh, therapeutic value but are not harmful to the host and the host being humans. At least with the organism that we work with, um, th there's great diversity. We have not sorted them all out. <laughs> um, uh, it, which is something we are actively pursuing.